hello everyone welcome back in this second video we'll make a few screens for our windows app that we made in react native and we'll do navigation between these screens now navigation in react native works react native windows works exactly the same as the other platforms so I, i'm here at react navigation and these are some things that i need to install i need to do npm install and in my case i would also want to do a save so npm install uh, save react native uh, react navigation native and then all of these dependencies and i've also installed the stack which is um, this thing right here which is react navigation slash stack so i already have all of these installed and what i've done is i've also um, started the application already now what we can do is we can just uh, hit ctrl shift d and hit reload javascript if we want if we want our changes to be reflected so once you're done with installing all of the dependencies we can now get started with our screens so here i have my app.js which has all the template code so let's first uh, let's change app.js later we'll first make a a uh, folder for src where we'll have all our uh, new screens so i have src within src i want routes and i also want a folder for navigation so i make that as well so i have navigation and within routes let's make a home.js so here i want the standard Im imports which are react and component from react and from react native let's take platform let's take um, text view and touchable opacity i think that should be um, it for now let's also have style sheet we'll do some uh, very minimal amount of styling here so this is from react native once this is done i can uh, make my actual home class and i'm just more comfortable with class based components than functional ones so i'm just going to go with that so i have export default class home extends component and here i want my render method and within render what i want to do is i just want to return a view which is styled as container let's do style start container all right so style start container and now within this view let's first have some text and let's give this a style as well so info text and let's just write hello world um this is this is react native windows and that's it i guess that's it for the text now let's have a touchable opacity which has a style so styles dot dot button and uh, when we press this touchable opacity let's um, not have an action right now at all so i'll leave this to empty and within this touchable opacity let's add a text as well so i have style which is um style start button text and let's um just say stack screen and let's just leave this to uh, as it is now and i need uh, styles which is style sheet dot create and within this i want my container so for my container i'll have flex one and i'll have align items to center i'll have justify content to center as well and for my button let's give it a width of let's say 30 percent let's give it a border width of one let's give it a border actually let's just leave this to as it is i can give it a border radius of let's say four and now i want to 
uh, style my text as well info text for this I'll have font size 24 and font weight um, let's just do bold and for my button text let's just have font size of 16 and another thing that I want to do here is I want the height to be let's say um, 30 I'm just using random values here and that's it for our home screen let's create another screen which is our stack screen so I create a stack screen .js. and within this I'm going to have um, code very similar to my home screen itself so let's just copy that um, except I won't have a button and uh, let's just add another line here which tells me that this is the stack screen so this is the stack screen and that's it let's um, let's now create our navigation actually let's before we create our navigation let's modify app.js so here I'm going to get rid of all of this and I'm going to do an import react and component from react and um, I also want to do import view from react native this is actually just temporary I'll remove that as well later so export default class app extends component and within my render method I want to return um, let's return just my home so that's all I want to return and I'll have to import home as well so import home from um, src slash routes um, dot slash src slash routes slash home so that's it I can actually get rid of this as well so let's save this and let's see our app it's uh, loading now it's loading my changes so now as you can see uh, it says hello world this is react native windows and I have a button here which says stack screen but it doesn't do anything right now so let's now add our navigation so within my navigation I'm going to add a stack nav .js. and here what I want to do is uh, of course I need react and component um, from react and I want create stack navigator from um, react navigation um, and stack so here I want to do uh, I want to create a stack first so I want con stack equals create stack navigator and now I can go ahead and write my class so export default class stack nav extends component and within my render method here what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a stack.navigator um, and within this stack.navigator I'll have my stack.screen uh, name is home and my component is also going to be home so uh, I'll need this home to be imported and it has done that for me automatically so um, I'm all right here and the second screen that I want is uh, my stack screen and I want the component to be uh, stack screen um, I'll have to import that as well so let's go ahead and do that so import stack screen from routes slash stack screen I think I forgot to change the name of my stack screen class so here I should change this, change this to stack screen um, I found that out because it wasn't giving me an auto import option so now that I've created my stack navigator what I can do is I can get rid of this as well I can import um, navigation container which is in um, react navigation slash native and I'm also going to import my stack nav so stack nav from um, dot slash src slash navigation slash 
stack nav and now what I'm going to do is I write navigation container here so I have navigation container and within that I just say stack nav and that's it let's get back to our app so let's go ahead and reload javascript so once again it's uh, loading my javascript code loading my changes now and I've got some error right here so let's go back to our stack nav so I forgot the return statement so I need to add that so that done I can now go ahead and reload my changes again on my app so it's doing it automatically and now as you can see it um, it has a white screen now and it says hello world this is react uh, native windows um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give this a color so my info text is going to have a color which is um, 000, 000 and my button text will also have this color so I want um, 000 here as well and let's go back so as you can see now I've got all the black text and um, I can click on the stack screen but this is still not going to do anything that's because I've not given it any action so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to say this dot navigation uh, actually this dot props dot navigation dot navigate and now I need to give the name of the screen that I want to navigate to which is stack screen so let's save it now and come back here let's reload our JavaScript and as you can see now I when I click on the stack screen button it takes me to the stack screen uh, once again I should probably uh, give these a color as well so I should give it a color here as well so it's 000, zero, zero. and I need the same thing in my button text um, although I don't really have button text here at all but as you can see now it says hello world this is react native windows this is the stack screen and I've also got this header right here for my stack navigation and when I click back here it takes me back to home so this is pretty cool navigation is exactly the same as we do on Android and iOS and that's it for this video I'll see you some other time